We have a quiz coming up in the uh, Integrated Math 1 on lines and angles. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Make sure you uh, pick the Integrated Math 1 link at the top. Okay, so here we have some uh, uh, lines right here. Uh, looks like they're parallel because of these arrows right here. So parallel lines cut by this transversal. So angle 8, which is right here, and angle blank are corresponding angles. So, so corresponding angles is if I can take this line and shove it down on top of this line, the corresponding angles would lay right on top of each other. So 8 would lay right on top of 6 right there. So 8 and 6 are corresponding angles. Okay, 4 and blank are vertical angles. Well, they're the opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. So 4 and 6 would be the vertical angles right there. Okay, 3 and blank are alternate interior. So here's the interior angles. They're all the inside angles between these two lines right here. The exterior angles would be 1 and 8 and 4 and, and 4 and 5. So we're looking at the interior angles right here. So alternate means that 3 is on one side, and then the alternate side would be this one here, 7. Now 3 and 6 are on alternate sides also, but they already have a name. They're called a linear pair because they make up that straight line right there. So this is 3 and 7. There are ones on one side, inside, and ones on the alternate inside of this transversal. So 3 and 7 right there, okay? 3 and blank are same-sided interior angle, so they're on the same side of this transversal. So 3 and 2 are both inside, and they're, and they're um, same-sided, so same-sided interior angles, okay? 1 and blank are alternate exterior angles, so 1 and blank, so these are outside angles, these are outside angles, exterior, so 1's on one side, and then 5 would be on the alternate side or the other side so one and five okay so here it says if one is equal to 108 okay what's the measure of angle five okay well alternate exterior angles are congruent so this would also be 108 right there okay now uh, it says angle four is equal to 75 what's angle six well that's a vertical angle they're also 75 so <clears throat> just make sure um, they're either they're either congruent or they're supplementary as long as these lines are parallel. Okay, so if they look congruent, like 8 looks like it's an acute angle, so does 6, so does 4, so does 2, so does uh, anything else? Um, I don't think so. So all the acute angles would be congruent, and the ones that are obtuse, like 1 and 7. Oh, so we have some horses out back, and my dogs are barking at the horses. Anyway, so so they're either congruent or supplementary, so they might be um, uh, supplementary, but here both of them were congruent right there, okay? Sorry about that. My dogs are barking at the horses out there. We live out in a, sort of in the country on a ranch, and today's the day they ride horses. Anyway, okay, so solve for X. Okay, so these guys are same-sided interior angles, and since these lines are parallel from these arrows right here, these angles are supplementary, so I'm going to do this plus this equals 180, okay? So here we go. So then add them up and then subtract 196, and we get negative, uh, whoops, not negative 19, negative 16. That is my mistake. Let me fix that so it's all ready for my students in my class. All right, okay, how about this one here, okay? These angles are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are are those angles, if I can shove this line right on top of this line, this angle would go right on top of this angle, so they're congruent to each other. So we set those equal to each other, and we just subtract 11x, and then we're going to go ahead and add 9 to both sides, and we get x equals 9 on that. Okay? All right, so these guys are called a linear pair because they make up this straight line right here. So this angle plus this angle equals 180. Linear pairs are always supplementary. Okay, so here we get 196 again, so we still get negative 16. That time I got it right. All right, these angles are called vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. It doesn't even matter if these lines are parallel. If they're vertical angles, they're congruent. So go ahead and set those equal to each other. Subtract 12x plus 7 to both sides, and then divide, and we get 8. 
Okay, easy enough. All right, these guys are called alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles, as long as these lines are parallel, these alternate interior angles are equal. So we'll just set those equal to each other. Subtract 5x plus 3, and then divide, and we get that. Okay, all right, these ones. Okay, these angles are called alternate exterior angles because one's on one side, one's on the other, and they're, they're exterior and they're congruent so so this 221x plus 6 equals this right angle which is 90 right there minus 6 divided by 21 get x equals 4 okay all right so it says use the figure to answer uh, as true or false and it says this right here it says line l is the perpendicular bisector of a b okay so if it's the perpendicular bisector that means that this point is equidistant to the two endpoints, and so is this point right here. It equidistant to the both endpoints right there. That was our theorem that we had um, uh, a couple of days ago. So, is AC equal to three? Yes, because <clears throat> this side equals this side because it's on the perpendicular bisector. So I know that that length equals that length. It's the same distance to both the endpoints right there. AD equals DB for the same reason. Well, if it's on the perpendicular bisector, then it's equidistant to the, the two endpoints. Okay, so AD is one half of a, a B. I'm going to say true because whatever that length is, that length's the same, so it must be double when you double the length right there. How about AD equals 2AB? So is this segment twice this segment no that's not true but this one's true so this last one's false right there okay so here it says uh, use the figure to uh, below to answer as true or false and then right here here's the important part right here you guys um, uh, it says that one whoops you can't see that it says that can you see that barely one plus three equals 180 okay so whoops you can't even see that Let's do this. Let's go right here. You'll see that. Now, 1 plus 3, these two angles add up to 180 right there. So if they add up to 180, look, they are vertical angles. They are congruent angles. Congruent Vertical angles are also always congruent. So if they're equal and they add up to 180, then both of them must be 90 degrees right there. So this must be 90. This must be 90. Let's put in little right angles right there. Okay, so if they're right angles, that means that this must be a right angle and this must be a right angle. So whenever you have perpendicular lines, they make these right angles. They make four right angles. So let's go ahead and put all those four right angles in there. Okay, so now is two equal to three? Yeah, because they're both right angles. That's true. Okay, how about this one? Is, um, is, uh, is 2 plus 4 equal to 180? 90 plus 90? Yep, 180, so that works there. How about this one here? Is uh, angle 1 greater than angle 4? Well, no, they're both 90. They're equal to each other, so that one's false. And then this last one says, uh, uh, does 1 plus 4 equal 90? No, 1 plus 4 equals 180, so that one's also false right there, okay? All right, now we got a couple more here. This one says... Uh, we have uh, this line that has equation 4x minus 3y equals 8. Okay, what's the slope of this line? Okay, in my class, I taught them to solve for this y right here. So we'd first subtract 3x, I'm sorry, did I say 3x, 4x, minus 4x minus 4x, and we'd have negative 3y equals negative 4x plus 8. And then we divide everything by negative 3, and that way it's a little bit harder. Here's a shortcut right here, you guys. The shortcut is this. If it's in, this is called standard form, ax plus by equals c, then your slope, no matter what, is opposite the number in front of a. So here it's, neg it's 4, so negative 4, over the number that's in front of uh, the y right here. So the number in front of y is negative 3. So when I do that slope right there, I get... I get, um, uh, I take negative this number over the same number as that one, so negative 4 over negative 3, which is 4 over 3. So what's the slope of a line that's parallel to this guy right here? It's going to be the same. It's going to be 4 over 3. Okay, now this one says, um, uh, which of these equations 
is an equation of a line that's parallel to that line. Okay, so I don't care about these sixes over here. I just want to know what's the slope. So we'll do opposite this number over this number. We'll just keep doing it until we get to one that's four over three. Okay, so here we go. So I did that with this one. I did opposite three, which is a positive three over negative four. Okay, well, usually we float that number up in front. So, um, uh, or out in front right there. So, so here we have um, uh, negative three fourths. Well, negative three fourths is not the same, so it's not a. So let's do that with this one. So it's going to be opposite this negative three. So it's going to be negative negative three over. I should have done that with that other one right there. So this was also negative negative three, which is positive three. So this gets me um, positive three fourths. Okay, so. Uh, that's not that one because it has to equal this guy right here it has to equal four thirds. Okay, let's do it with this one. So it's going to be negative four over this number, which is negative three, negative four. I'm sorry, negative negative four, which over negative three gets me a, a negative four thirds. That that's not it. I want positive four thirds. So it must be this dude right here. So we're going to do negative negative four over this three right there. Well, negative negative four over three is four thirds and that's it right there. So it told us to circle the answer. I thought I circled the answer right here. I'll do that right here. Let's do that right here. Okay, so it says circle the answer. This is the one that has the same slope right here. Okay, see how four thirds equals the four thirds right there. All right, okay, so now I, I, I left um, number 21 here because number 24 says What's a line? What um, uh, slope is a line that's perpendicular to that? So it's the same line, and these are the same slopes down here. So this one says which of these equations is is an equation that's perpendicular to that? So perpendicular would be to flip that sign right there. Whoops, let me put that in there. So I'm going to flip this uh, fraction, so three fourths, and we're going to negate it. We're going to change the sign. So this is four thirds. So a perpendicular slope is going to be negative four th or negative three fourths. We flip it and change the sign. So which one of these has the same slope of uh, negative three fourths? This guy does right here. So it's choice A. Choice A wins that battle right there. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope you guys do good on your quiz. Take care.